In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to show you how to remove unwanted objects in your photo by using the Content Aware Removal Tool. We'll show you that in some photographs it works very well, in others it's very, very difficult and a little bit uncompensating for that. We have a very simple photograph to start with. What you want is one with a very uncomplicated background where something is very isolated to remove. We'll remove the fishing pole here. So to do that, I'm going to click on the guided button at the top and we'll save. And we're going to go to improve, remove. The third item down is content aware removal. Then we have two brush tools. We're going to focus on the first one in this tutorial where you have either a plus or a minus. I'll click the plus one and I can click the size on the slider or I can use my scroll mouse and I'm going to isolate the fishing pole that I don't want in the picture. So we'll take this and we will highlight it. Hopefully we've got all of it and then we'll simply click apply. It will go ahead and process and we'll resume when it's done. And here it's removed except for the very top of it. I missed it. Here's what to do if you make a mistake. You now can click on the sampling brush tool and it will show you the mask that it used. I prefer to zoom in and I'll go like this to get my area and I see in the sample that I didn't have a mask big enough. So now I can use also a plus and minus on this one as well and we will add to it. I'm going to make sure I don't have my magnifier set here and we'll just go up like this and it will recalculate and it should remove what is left of the fishing rod and there it's gone. Now likewise if I have too much in I can either use the Alt key I can click the other icon on the left or hold the Alt key and it will subtract a little bit from my mask. So there I just made it a little bit smaller. It will reprocess and I will get back to the main screen. Then I click on OK and we're back with no fishing pole. Let's look at another option that's a little bit more complicated than this one. I'm going to select a different picture here. We'll take this one here. Let's assume what I want to do in this case is remove this one gentleman from this scene. The background's a little bit more cluttered. It's a little bit more complicated. Let's see what we can do in this case. So I'm going to increase the size of my brush and let's brush around the gentleman. Again, you don't want to take too much. You want to make it e as easy as possible. And we can always make adjustments later. Looks pretty good. Then I'll click on my apply. And when it's done, the gentleman has disappeared. Again, we can click on the sampling brush tool. We want to make some more modifications. But you notice there's a couple complications here. If you look at the wall behind him, it's very obvious that something isn't normal. Let me show you a tip that I do. I often will use another tool here. I'll go back from Content Aware. We'll save our changes. And I'm going to change this rock formation here, this wall a little bit, by using the tool above it called Smart Patch. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the area that it couldn't tell what was behind him, obviously. Click on Next. I'm going to drag to the right. And let go. And there again, I've been able to compensate for that. Let's try, uh, let's apply that. And again, we have an odd shadow here. We can even fix that if we want. So I'm going to click on this area here. Click on Next. We'll Smart Patch this too. I think I might want to go this way. And it's more subdued than it was before. I'll click on Apply. So there's some tools you can use together if you don't get quite the results. Now if you look carefully, you'll notice that the the homes in the distance uh, have been messed up as well. But in this case, they're so far away and so out of focus, it doesn't make a huge difference in the final result. Let's look at another option that we have. I'm not going to save the changes here. Let's look at another option we have under Content Aware Removal using a much more complicated picture. Let's take this picture of the sailboat and now we'll try it with the sailboat. Let's do content aware removal. We have our brush. Let's make the boat disappear from the water. Okay, now we click and do our apply as we've done before. 
and it's going to do its best to take the boat out of the water and it actually did a halfway decent job. The only problem I see in this is that we've got some cleanup to do here and then when we get back here to the building, let's zoom in on this. You notice the building looks kind of weird um, because it tried to cut and patch from the right side and the left side to cover what's behind it. And in this case, unlike a brick wall, you, you can't easily fix this using any other tool available in PhotoDirector. But it just shows you sometimes the more complicated the background, the more difficult it is to use this particular tool. But it, if you want to do some very quick cleanup and what you remove is simple and what's around it does not vary a lot, then it's a nice useful tool to use when you're working in PhotoDirector to remove some things that you don't need in your photographs.